Real Life Graphs Level 6 National Curriculum Grade D GCSE This is um, basic skill number 10 um, Real Life Graphs Very difficult to cover all type of real life graphs I'm going to cover two, two examples here We're going to look at um, distance time graph which is very common and then one to do with um, pouring in liquid into a bottle which is also a classic question and at the end I'll link in an, um, uh, another exam question that I've done on a real exam paper okay in fact these two questions come off exam papers as well so these are real GCSE exam questions to demonstrate real life graphs so here we go distance time graph so we've got distance up the side time across the bottom times in minutes whenever you're looking at graphs you need to think about what each little square means along the axis so we've got five squares for every 10 so in this direction one little square is going to be two minutes kind of this way it's different we've got five squares is five so each square in this direction is one kilometer now to answer the question for how long does the train stop on the journey well when we've got a distance time graph when we've got a diagonal line a line that's going up that means something is moving this is this is the first part of the journey where it goes 25 kilometers in 50 minutes and then there's this section here which is flat it means it's not going anywhere therefore this is the bit that's not moving so between here and here it's not moving and that's between 50 and 60 minutes so that's 10 minutes which part of the journey does the train travel fastest and we've got to put a circle around the part of the graph that shows this so um, when we're looking at a distance time graph if we have a line that's coming across relatively flat that means that as time goes on we're not going very far very quickly so this is quite a slow motion um, if we're looking at a steep line that means that as time goes on we're actually going much further much more quickly so that's a fast section so this is slow and this is fast so um, which part of the journey does the train travel fastest? Well, it's this part here because um, that's where the line is steepest. You could actually work out the speed of the train at each section. So we've got this part of the train where we're going 25 kilometers in 50 minutes. So we would go 5 kilometers in, in 10 minutes or 30 kilometers per hour. We don't really need to do that. All we need to do is say that uh, we know it's faster because a steeper line or a steeper slope of the line uh, means a faster speed so that's something to take into consideration so when you're looking at a graph you need to think about the the two axes what's happening it's not always distance and time um, lots of other things and I'll show you another example in a second um, where we're looking at um, filling a uh, liquid bottle, a bottle with liquid. Okay, so here's that example. A very classic question comes up occasionally, but um, uh, when thinking about graphs, thinking about the shapes of graphs, this sort of pouring water into a bottle is quite a common idea. But what I'm going to do here is not actually answer the question directly. I'm going to look at the graphs themselves and think about what sort of bottle would give you this sort of graph? Um, I'm going to start with what well, we'll start with this one. So, if if this is a um, steady slope here, where well, over time the height of the graph is just going up and up and up at the same speed, that tells us that um, that section of the bottle it has straight sides because the, the the speed at which it's going up is not changing, the height is not changing um, at different speeds, it's just going constantly going up at the same speed. And then it's sort of rounding off and then going very slow. So as it rounds off, that means that um, it's getting, the bottle's actually getting wider um, with a sort of roundish slope. And then it sort of stops, it doesn't go up any higher. Now that must be the top of the bottle so it must stop here and then then the water starts pouring over the sides uh, over time so th that's roughly what it should look like it should have straight sides to start with this should be it should be quite a narrow bottle if you're talking about the same scale each time because it goes up relatively quickly um, but then it sort of slopes out because it slows down and then the water starts pouring over the top 
Okay, this this graph here um, is a bit of, bit of a strange graph because this can't actually this is the, if this is a, is a vertical line. This doesn't really happen because if you, if you imagine that in zero time from here to here, from, while this is going up, it's actually gone up that high. So that must be something that's just um, doesn't have any sort of width because going from here to here in no time at all, and then it's t it's going up at a steady speed. So maybe. It's doing that. It's got some sort of wine glass or something, where it's going up steadily for a period of time, and then it shoots up again. So um, again, we've got another very uh, extremely narrow section. Um, oh, it's just it's just not a possible thing to happen. Um, this this graph here, we've got um, going up relatively slowly, then fast, then slow again. So. I would imagine that looks like this is quite wide, and then it just it comes straight in for a fast section. So as it gets to this point, it goes up quite quickly because it's quite narrow, and then it's it widens out again. Um, it's actually a, a slow, uh, a less steep slope, so it's a flatter a flatter line than this one. So in fact, um, if we withdraw it accurately. This uh, second section would actually be wider than the first section. It needs to go up it even slower than it did to start with. So it's going to end up looking like that. So we've got a section where it goes up at steady speed to here, and then from there to there it goes a bit faster, and then it goes slow again um, up to a certain point. Okay, now this one. This bit we've got a straight side to start with. And then it's curving and going faster, so it's curving inwards. Um, so it's, it's this section is getting faster, and then it's going up on a straight speed again. So then it's going to go straight up the side, which is in fact this bottle here. So this is the actual one we want for this. Um, this last one we've got a, a very steep, so a narrow section to start with, and then it flattens off. So then it goes nice and wide. And then this bit is steepens up again, but not as steep as it was to start with. So that the sides come in a bit, but not as, as narrow as it was to start with. So let's try to explain the varying um, types of graph that can happen with that. We've got question A and B, and you've got this, the uh, second page, which is talking about another travel graph and comparing it to the first one. So we'll come across that in a bit.